In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new ManyChat native email feature. Hello there, my name is Kelly Noble Mirabella, and I am super happy to have you join me here on the ManyChat YouTube channel. Today, we are talking all about the new native email tool that you can find right inside of ManyChat. As I go through this, don't forget to leave your questions and comments below and hit that like button if you find this video helpful. The new ManyChat email integration allows you to very inexpensively deliver emails to subscribers, getting them back into Messenger where you can carry on your normal Messenger strategies without having to worry about Facebook's 24 hour rule or tags or whatever else you're stressing out about these days. Even better, you could do it all inside of ManyChat, so no need to jump from one marketing tool to the next. ManyChat saves you time and money. Speaking about cost, let's talk about the price of this feature really quick. ManyChat has generously decided to gift all pro users a free number of emails every month. It's all based on your subscriber level. So if you pay for the 500 pro plan, you get 500 free emails a month. 1,000 gets 1,000, 5,000 gets 5,000, and so on and so forth. If you go over your free allotted emails for that month, the price per email is super cheap at $0.003 or a third of a cent per email as you pay as you go. Finally, before I head into ManyChat to show you how to use this and get it all done, ManyChat also has offered a free template that will help you stay compliant when it comes to collecting these emails. I went ahead and linked that below in the description if you'd like to grab that template for your own ManyChat account. Remember, this feature is a pro feature, but it just shows one more amazing reason to upgrade to pro today. So now that we got all that out of the way, let's jump into ManyChat and let me show you how to build your ManyChat email list and how to send messages. Let's do this. So once you download your template that ManyChat offers, it's going to look something like this. Now some of the older templates might have a one minute delay after you request their email. You can actually remove that one minute delay. You no longer need that, which is great from a user experience point because most people don't want to wait that long to get the next message. So in the first block, we are asking for their email and we're setting expectations. Now I want you to note that as we are asking for their email, the reply type is email, but the difference here from asking for emails the regular way and asking for them in the case of wanting to send them emails via the native feature is this right here, save email to system field. If you're just asking for emails to export to your CRM or to another ESP and email service provider, then you actually would want to check this off and save it to a custom field just like you normally have in the past. However, if you're going to use the new native feature, you will check this save email to system field, which will save their email to an actual opted in field. This helps you stay compliant when utilizing the ManyChat email system. And then we're going to keep the skip in here. So everything here is pretty standard and it is already built into the template. Then they added here a quick condition just to make sure that that person put in their email. But if they did hit skip, for instance, because that was one of the options that we gave them, then it's just going to say they didn't give us the email, there is no value, and we just have a little note here, thanks, we'll continue to communicate with you in Facebook. Now you can change some of the wording in this step as well as this step. For this step, you just want to make sure that you're setting the right expectations and letting people know that they will be getting email from you. And down here, you're just basically saying, well, I guess you don't want to get emails from us. That's cool. We'll just keep sending you messages via Messenger on Facebook. So you can change those too. Now, if they do give you an email, we're going to go in for an actual opt-in. So it says, please click I agree to confirm opt-in to receive email letters from us. So it's kind of like a double opt-in here. And they click I agree. If they click I don't agree, again, it goes down here to this step. If they click I agree, the action is going to set email to opt-in, which is going to save that email address to this specific opted in field. And then it's going to say, thank you. You will now be getting these weekly email updates. And you can change this confirmation 
to your liking as well. So once you're ready, you're gonna hit publish and you are going to start collecting emails. And you can do this the same way you've always done your collection of subscribers, what have you. You just go over and create growth tools and drive them into this flow. So all of that is pretty much standard. Now, you probably wanna know, how do I send out these emails? Let's go do that. So we're gonna to go to broadcast. And you'll see when we go to new broadcast, we have a couple of options. If I'm gonna be sending out a messenger broadcast, like you're used to sending out under all of the same rules as Facebook Messenger has, we'll go to messenger. If you watched our training on SMS text messaging, you'll see here that we have the text messaging option. And then we have the email option and then multi-channel. But for this particular one, we're gonna go under the email one because we're sending an email and we are going to enable this. Now you do have to go through and set this up. You only have to do that enable thing once and then we're going to go to new broadcast, go to email. Once you've set that up, this is what your email looks like. So we have our subject line, which you have to include. Then you have your pre-header. This is kind of the preview to the email that people will see in their inbox. And then you have the inside, the actual content of your email. So you have a headline, an image, the text, and a button. And you can actually remove some of these. So if you don't want a headline, for instance, you can remove that. If you wanted to delete the image and just do text, you could do that. If you wanted to add them back in, you can do that. Or if you wanted to add more blocks to your email, you can certainly do that. So I'll just move this around here. So let's put our headline back here and then we can drag and drop those around. And you can add your image. I'm just gonna delete that for now, but just like anything else, you would just drop an image in here or click and upload an image. And then you put your copy. This is a great place to set your expectations, get people to be enticed to click the button so that they will carry on maybe back into Messenger or go wherever you want them to go. Just to be clear, just because it says open in Messenger, you do not have to bring people back into Messenger. You can certainly change the button copy and say something like watch video and you can have it go to a YouTube video as you can see, and then it says open website. So you have quite a few options here. And just make sure that you change the button to wherever it's going to go. And then you can show the preview. This is what your email is gonna look like right here. Hi, test email here. Welcome to our newsletter, main email copy. There's the button. And then they have all this legalese, if you will, of all the stuff. Now, just to be clear that the address down here is going to be your address. So when you go into your settings, and you go under email, you'll need to make sure that you set up your contact information. By most email marketing laws, you have to have a address. I know for a fact that in order to be compliant with the United States rule of Can Spam Act, you absolutely have to have that. So you can put all that information in and your address here. And then that is what will show up in your broadcast email flow. So when you're ready, you're gonna to go to next and you're actually going to say, because you've already said this is an email, you don't have to do any special conditioning in terms of the people who've opted in, but you can further condition people and segment people if you're sending out an email that is for specific people that might enjoy this content more than others. For instance, if you're doing a webinar and you had people that subscribed for updates on that webinar, you probably wouldn't send that to your entire opted in list. You would send it to the people who opted into email, but also opted into that webinar. And then you can send your email out right away or schedule it for later and you have pretty much the same setup for time zone limiting. And once you're all set and ready to go, you would hit the send now. Now I don't have anyone opted in so it's not gonna allow me to do that. And then when you go into your broadcast, you'll be able to see some of the open rates and click-through rates and all that good stuff that you'll wanna know.